Okay, so here, um, here we go. This is uh, the hopefully the new look of Ageless Anatomy. Um, we spent a lot of time um, researching uh, color schemes, um, fonts, um, to appeal to both um, uh, female as well as male demographics, uh, knowing that a large portion of your current clientele um, is male driven. So we wanted to make sure that it had um, a touch of um, um, femininity, but also um, wouldn't uh, off-put or um, um, upset the male client. So um, this is the, uh, the fonts and the color scheme. Um, the use of the black in the background with the gradient um, we think is going to be really nice. It'll look really, really nice on uh, business cards and all of your print material. Um, it will also allow for us to um, uh, print it on a, uh, a soft touch or that kind of velvety feel um, that people are doing now um, when it comes to your business cards and any of your print material. So, um, and then the addition of um, kind of this rose gold um, look that we have here will play really nice on business cards and print material as well because we'll actually be able to um, print that with a nice shine um, on it to give it kind of that metallic um, uh, look. So that's, um, that's uh, our mock-up for the logo. And as we go through uh, the site, you'll be able to see that as well. So I'll zoom out so you can get kind of a full picture um, of the homepage of the website. Obviously, it would never be viewed like this. Um, in fact, it would be viewed um, a little bit more uh, like this and even a little bit more so. Um, so as you first get to the, the website, um, depending on how big your browser is, you'd have a nice big um, image um, and then allowing people to see that there is something um, to scroll down beneath. Um, I took all of the existing content that you guys had um, and I removed some things, but I also um, wanted to kind of talk through that. So on the current website, you guys had a big block of, of text. Um, uh, for the about us, which was also on your about page. So usually what you do in situations like that is um, on the home page, it's really kind of a table of contents to allow people to click on what they want to get them um, to the places that they want on the website. So um, as far as the about us goes, what we would do is kind of taper off the content, um, allow for a read more or a book now. Um, and you'll see the book now um, throughout the site to make it very easy um, for people to, um, to book when they're ready. Um, so if they roll over this, the button would animate to look um, like this as an end result, and vice versa. If they roll over the black button, it would animate and look um, have the stroke and white uh, look and feel to it. Um, we really uh, thought through kind of the the look and feel um, of the text treatment. We wanted to do something, again, that was um, feminine but also masculine. Um, so the um, inspiration and style was um, very New York-based, um, you know, bold, um, clean looks, uh, black text, white backgrounds, um, but adding some of the cool um, functionality of just having uh, certain things um, underlined. Obviously, at this point, if anything is underlined that you guys don't particularly want underlined, then that's fine. Um, but the idea here is to draw people's attention in a very quick manner to certain key points. Um, and also use those underlines as elements um, throughout all of our print material and um, video and everything else that we do. So this, uh, this kind of look and feel translates very well to, to everything else that we're going to do. Um, the next section here, um, and all of these sections as I zoom out, are basically what's called modules. So um, if at any point we don't have um, the assets to fill that module, we can simply hide it from the website. Um, but we'll still want to build it um, so that we're building everything the way that we want the website to be, you know, a month, three months, six months down the road. And then we can hide things as we don't have them available yet. But the idea here is everything on the site um, is what's called parallax. So as you scroll up and down on your phone or on the website, um, the images will kind of move at a slower pace. I'm sure you've seen that on some different websites. So as you scroll up and down, you'll see a lot of movement um, throughout the site. 
and this video here would basically be what we talked about before which would be um, you know an overview of the company um, again from the home page being kind of that table of contents it's not going to dive into services specifically um, but it will touch on your um, you know the main services that you guys offer um, who you guys are where you're located um, you know the um, feature on um, the doctor uh, herself and, um, and Brooke and anything else that might be pertinent um, that would make sense to go here on the home page. Again, this video itself is basically designed to, when, when somebody watches this within a two to three minute um, time period, um, they have a full understanding of who you guys are, what you guys are all about, and the services that you guys offer. So as we scroll down the page, you can see here that we've got our services. Um, and so essentially, again, with the um, parallax look and feel, um, these images, as you roll over them, not only can they move up and down, but as we start shooting video, these can actually be full videos um, that play in the background. Now, they'll only be, you know, five to ten second clips that would kind of loop, um, but it's a very dynamic, really cool um, kind of look and feel um, as people get on the site. Of course, all of this will be dynamic and scalable, so if you're looking at this on a cell phone, it will squeeze down um, and stack a little bit differently than you're looking at on a widescreen or on a tablet. Um, so each one of the images are obviously placeholders for now, um, but they are uh, very well thought through um, images from a color standpoint, from a layout standpoint, um, and even from a movement standpoint, um, allowing these things to kind of move up and down within a very long frame um, is a bit of a challenge, but I think that we did it pretty well. Um, you can see kind of the bounce of colors, you know, from a, a, a gray background or a light background to a full image to a gray or light background to a full image. So as we uh, continue to look for, you know, just the right images, if you guys don't like these ones in particular, um, those will be some of the criteria that we try to stick with. And again, um, allowing people to click and read more as a table of contents kind of approach, but also being able to book right from um, each section. As we scroll down, um, we've got our, our team. Again, we don't want to go too deep into this. Um, this is always nice just so people can get kind of a feel for who you are and what you're all about. Um, but again, allowing people to click on the individual person and open up um, their bio, which we'll get into um, here shortly, is basically the point uh, here on the home page. Um, I loved the tagline that you guys had. And again, as you scroll up and down the page, uh, it will allow for uh, an image to move up and down. And again, if this is not the uh, the final image, the idea here is that you've got a nice big white space to draw your eye to um, the slogan that you have here. Then we get into the easy stuff, you know, the contact form, um, some social media, so Instagram posts that will dynamically load as you guys post, and then a nice footer here with our logo that's in the stacked version. Um, with any of the other pertinent uh, details down at the bottom. So again, kind of zooming out, um, table of contents approach, you've got your header, you've got your about us, you've got a nice video um, that would really explain who you guys are, you have your services, team members, and then a nice footer down at the bottom. So as we go through, and if you were to click on about or click read more, it would take you to some of the other uh, interior pages. So again, on this about page, zooming in a little bit, um, this is an extension of um, the content from the home page, which is what you guys have on your existing uh, website now. So if any of this content needs to change, we can always update that, but that's just pulling over um, your existing content. And then again, allowing for uh, people to book now. Um, this video here, uh, depending on how we do it, we can obviously um, tailor this video specifically to the About Us. Um, usually on websites, the video that's on the home page and the video that's on the About Us page are generally the same. Um, and the reason for that is because not all the time, um, sometimes but not all the times, people on the home page um, won't watch the video. Um, they might click right away into the About Us. So, you know, the time and money and effort that it takes to put together that video 
um, it would be you know well served here on the on the uh, about us page as well so that people can really understand who you guys are um, again the team um, because this is the about the about page it would make a little bit more sense for the images to be a little bit more full um, obviously the style of the photo is is more of the important thing than anything else it doesn't necessarily need to be arms crossed um, you know however we want to shoot that um, or if you guys are going to get that shot but the idea is to again have these uh, kind of uniform colors that we're using um, throughout the site and throughout uh, hopefully all the print material to keep things um, uh, congruent um, and then down here on the bottom um, FAQs uh, always really a good idea to have those especially on the about us page which is a very high traffic page and then any of the interior services pages um, the nice thing about the FAQs is as we um, go into each individual service page, the FAQs will be specific to that service. Um, so basically, um, what we'll want to do on the About Us page is kind of cover the FAQs, um, the highest FAQ questions, maybe not specific to services, um, but maybe to just the process in general here on the About Us page. So if you were to click on a team member, let's say we clicked on Brooke, it would take you into her page. Um, again, this is a very, um, you know, New York, um, bold um, type of look and feel. It's not a cookie cutter, um, generic type of uh, site. So I really wanted to give it kind of that, um, that flair. Um, if the content is longer, the page will stretch. Um, if it's shorter, then it will stay there. Um, but I think that it would be really great to have you guys do, you know, a little bit more of a glamour type of shot, um, you know, showcasing who you guys are um, as individuals. Um, and then doing it on a, a black background like this um, in either the uh, photo shoot or in, you know, post-production. Um, is what we'd like to do as far as the look and feel. Um, as we go into the individual services, you'll start kind of seeing, you know, the theme throughout the entire site. So um, you click into derma fillers um, as as an example. Um, you've got your main bulk of content. Again, some of the uh, underlines here are to um, you know allow people to skim through the content, but really understand what it is. Um, this video would be specific to derma fillers. So we would talk about, um, you know, your process, the befores and afters, you know, how you guys assess and evaluate and perform the services, um, all of those fun kind of things. So that after a person watches this video on derma fillers, they feel completely confident um, in what it is that you guys are, um, are going to do for them. Um, the next thing on here are obviously that, that people like to see are kind of case studies um, or before and afters, whatever you want to call it. So this text can obviously change. Um, and these are just placeholder images. But um, the idea here would be that you can click on an individual um, case study and go into that page and see that person's before and afters and kind of get a little bit of information on, on uh, how that procedure went. So if you were to click on a case study, you would come in here and whether or not we do a split like this or it's just an image with an arrow um, that's kind of TBD um, but the idea here is that you can showcase before and after um, photos inside of here um, give a little bit of text which is going to be very important for your SEO um, your search engine optimization so writing content for each one of these um, case studies is going to be really vital to helping you guys rank um, organically um, on Google, which is why we designed it that way. And then, um, you know, allowing for the different um, um, breadcrumbs, which identify, you know, client, category, dates, and then being able to actually share um, those things um, is going to be really cool because people will see it and then um, be able to share it, you know, directly to their social media if they choose. Um, and then this is basically allowing you to click Bef uh, to other you know case studies that you would see over here so just another quick access way so that you don't have to click back and then click on a second one you can be in the case study and then just click to the next one or the previous one um, this layout here obviously again placeholder images um, is basically how the gallery would look um, if you were to uh, roll over 
um, and click on, you know, gallery for derma fillers. So it would say derma fillers and it would have all the different um, case studies or before and afters, if you will. So just a different way and layout for you to get inside. Um, again, before and afters. And then um, the next section here would be um, a blog. Again, very, very important for SEO. Um, so, you know, with WordPress, it's, it's pretty uh, cut and dry and they've got, you know, some really great um, plugins that allow for customization. So, you know, ignore all of this, uh, the categories over here. But the idea here is that we can set up all the different categories. So all the different services, um, before and after category, um, videos, um, tips, whatever, post care procedures, all of that kind of stuff. Um, to uh, allow people easy access and reading and then this would essentially be um, the layout inside of it so we can have a video here we can have a gallery we can have a single image we could have um, you know if it's a SoundCloud interview that you guys did um, whatever we need to um, and we can do that within the article itself as well um, this would allow for people to add comments um, or the person that's writing the post um, give their little short bio allow people to uh, write comments um, and then you can see how that would uh, show show up down here if we don't want people writing comments or if you want the comments to be approved by you guys first so that people don't get on there and start writing you know nasty uh, comments or, or whatever the case may be um, we can set that up on the back end that every comment that is submitted um, goes directly to you guys first for approval and if you guys don't approve of it then you delete it and it will uh, never see the light of day um, you can see here it's got latest posts um, that are related to that category and then also being able to again pull in some of the Instagram feeds so it's just some pretty basic stuff on the blog um, and then this would kind of be the uh, the page itself if you were to click into blog um, you can see all the different types of blogs you can see here that we've got pagination down on the bottom of the page so if there are 10 different pages you'd be able to click through it that way um, but this would scroll up and down inside of the blog and you can see all of the different types of blog posts that you can um, do. Um, the next piece is the is the store um, which is very similar layout to this um, so that is something that you know I know that we've kind of talked about just a little bit um, but the functionality again all uh, WordPress um, super intuitive on the back end and basically we can customize it to uh, look just like everything else here. Um, so that's it. Um, that's, uh, that's kind of the whole spiel. Hopefully you guys uh, like this uh, look and feel. Like I said, I think that's going to translate really, really well to all of your print materials, um, uh, email blasts, email campaigns, social media posts, um, video, um, all of that kind of stuff. I think it's going to look really, really nice, and um, we're super excited to hear your feedback. So let us know um, if everything here looks good. Um, we've already kind of started on programming a little bit, hoping that um, uh, that you guys like everything. Um, if everything looks good, um, I think that we should be able to have the entire site live um, probably by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, uh, depending on when we get you guys' feedback. Um, so give me a call, let me know, or shoot me an email, and uh, look forward to hearing uh, from you guys soon. Thanks.